When it comes to cybercrime, there's no such thing as too careful. Cybercrime is any criminal activity that involves a computer, networked device, or network. Cybercriminals' goals are usually financially motivated. However, some cybercrime targets specific devices to damage or disable them, or to spread malware, illegal information, images, or other malicious material. In any case, cybercrime has major implications for businesses, so it's important to understand these threats and how to mitigate them. To dig deeper on all things cybersecurity, visit our dedicated site at the link above or in the description below. And remember to subscribe to Ion Tech for more videos on all things business tech. Today, just about everyone is connected to the internet, and the anonymity, speed, and convenience it provides has dramatically increased the volume of cybercrime activities. In other words, a criminal doesn't have to physically be present to commit a cybercrime, and just about anyone can be a cybercriminal. Many cyber attacks involve social engineering techniques like phishing or malware to manipulate people into breaking normal security procedures to gain access to systems. Cyber crimes come in many different forms, such as cyber extortion, where an attacker threatens a user with the intention of extorting money from them, identity theft, which involves the theft of personal information in order to access an individual's valuable accounts or steal their identity, software piracy, which refers to the unlawful copying, use, and distribution of software programs, and cryptojacking, which is when an attacker loads cryptocurrency mining software onto a user's system against their will or without their knowledge. Cybercrimes typically have a financial impact on business. Cybercrime damages are expected to cost a total of $10.5 trillion annually by 2025. Aside from the financial burden, businesses often face fines, damaged brand reputations, and negative investor perceptions due to cyber attacks. That said, prevention is key, and organizations should create incident response plans, use multi-factor authentication, and train employees on cybersecurity best practices to minimize potential damage. Has your organization been affected by cybercrime? Share your experience in the comments, and remember to like and subscribe too.